All right, update. So it's been since Christmas. Done a lot to the car. Still in the middle of a T5 conversion. So I think the last time you saw it, the arms weren't done. Uh, but they are together now. They meet at the cross member. Brake lines are run, at least from the back. Need to have a drive shaft made for the open drive, and then I'll need to connect a third bar from the third member all the way up to the front of the radius arms to replace the torque tube essentially in function. Inside, T5's cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, 60's GM Corvette master cylinder is plumbed up to the rear. That flex tube goes down to the T fitting at the radius rods. need to plumb the front and I've been working on that. Use the old floor as a template. So there's my shifter hole, e-brake, and then this will become the master cylinder access. I think I've only, yeah, roughed it out on the back. But uh, that'll be made out of three quarter inch solid oak. And I just wanna wait till I have all that done to start working on it. The uh, front wishbone is all redone, at least at the coupling point. And then there's that rubber ball oozing out that you're supposed to put around the wishbone uh, rotating socket. Uh, the thing that took me probably the longest was reversing the spring eye on these shackles uh, on the front spring. So it's just been just refreshed, pulled everything out, cleaned it up. Uh, these are 41 shackle plates with Model A uh, grease pins inside the shackles. And then this perch pin uh, was more narrow. Like the spring is one and three quarter. This is more narrow, so I just shimmed it up with a big washer. And uh, the spring was reversed with a hydraulic press. Uh, not the eye, the actual, the whole spring was reversed slowly. Turned out pretty good. Shout out to my buddy Nick for that. New brake lines, brake hoses I should say. And there's a fitting that holds it tight up underneath the frame rail. Made those out of angle iron. Uh, we'll see how these work out. They're like nine dollars, but that's a win. I think they're a total of 17 inches off of Amazon It's uh, 3 8 20 To um, I don't know. What is it? Whatever the standard brake line is for quarter-inch brake lines all the way around Finally got the shift knob off with uh, a pipe wrench and was able to slide that T5 cover down onto it. E-brake still pending hookup, but it works and it's mounted. Built that bracket. Uh, put the cow light lenses back on. They're just in there. <coughs> it's just hollow. Uh, I think I'll get a 12 volt kit for that. Uh, pretty soon the car will go to 12 volt. And I'll be able to run fuel pump, lights, and all that stuff uh, off of 12 volts, which I'd much rather do. But that's the update. It's been a while. A lot of little things done, but it's all back on four wheels now. It's got a pretty good stance. I've got a set of 1935 wire wheels, 16 by 4 Ford. Um, I need to start the process of getting them cleaned up. Make sure they're true enough to run. And then, uh, you know, cut that check for $900 worth of uh, tires and tire tubes. Uh, but like 750s in the front, 550s or 525s on the front. I'm sorry, 750s in the back. So, she'll be driving again soon. Drive shaft, 
It's about the only thing standing in the way, but I'm going to do a bunch of things uh, while I'm waiting on that. So, if you've got comments, leave them below. Questions, concerns. I'm pretty happy with how she's coming along. I'm real happy how that front spring cleaned up. Still got good flex and it's a whole lot lower. Now the spring's cleaned up and I don't have to worry about the shackles anymore failing on me. Alright, take care. See you guys later.